morning, YouTube. So today we're going to continue to paint the baby dresser, uh, but this time we're going to do is we're going to use the Wagner uh, air sprayer this time uh, since I had fixed it during the end of the last video. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover how to prepare your paint and how to actually use an air sprayer outside. So uh, with that said, let's get to it. So first thing about air spraying, you can't just take a can of latex paint and just pour it into the container without doing what we call thinning. So you need to make the paint thin enough so that when you go to spray it, it doesn't clog up the machine. So for latex paint, you want to make it so that it is thin enough to go through the spray gun. So the material that we would use for thinning in this case would be water. And it's actually on the actual can itself. So again, if you ever have questions about what fluid to thin your paint with, always check the manufacturer's spec. And that what I'm doing now is I'm holding a viscosity stick. And um, right now it's below what we want. So we're gonna have to thin it with a little bit of water in order to get it to come out of the spray gun nice. And the other thing too is what's nice about using water with latex paint is you can also extend the dry time. Now why would you want to do that? Um, extending the dry time, especially in hot days like this, prevent it from drying too quickly and peeling off your project. So again, we want to give it as much time to stick to the project so we've cleaned it, we've primed it, we've got everything nice and sanded, but if we rush that paint time, we can get a bad coating. So I'm going to pour my water into this container here and add two ounces of water just to increase that dry time. So with that said, let's get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the recommended two ounces and I'm going to add it to my paint. And then I'm going to use the viscosity stick mix in my water. There we go. That looks good. So now let's go spray on our uh, project. Now my pipe paint nicely thin. And now what I'm going to try to do is I want to hold it somewhere between 8 to 10 inches between my project. Just like a spray can. And I want to go nice, consistent, straight up and down paths for each pass that I do. And just like finishing with a brush, I want to overlap the last layer. Uh, one thing I'm going to do there real quick, before I even put any paint on the project, is I'm going to test it on a piece of cardboard so I don't by actually put um, the wrong application or the, the wrong pattern on my project. So let me get a test. that pattern looks good. I don't have a lot of drip marks showing, so I got a good amount of coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this to the side and start painting the project.
sprayer is still having a little bit of trouble. Um, I was able to get a good coat on everything so far. But I, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to brush back my mistakes with a natural bristle brush real quick. Just make sure that I don't have any drip marks on the project. do is I'm going to add, I'm um, going to keep troubleshooting the paint sprayer, um, but I am going to try to coat the other two shelves in the meantime. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of white, the white paint, put it in, and then see if I can, on my cardboard piece, get a nice clear coverage. My thought is, is that the main chamber is getting gummed up with something. Um, what, I don't know. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm not gonna try to over thin, so I don't wanna put too much water in, but I don't want to go below, or go above what I had before. So I'm just gonna try to add and test for each time. So each time I test, good spray, awesome. And then I'll, I'll check my paint coverage and then do it again. So today was a lot of trial and error. Um, I would say uh, when it comes to success, I would say the spray gun was a lot more efficient than the um, the rollers. It was a lot easier to, it was a lot easier than just brushing and rolling it on. Um, downside was uh, in the beginning, just the thinning, I got the thinning right, but the nozzle seemed to harden up. So I had to clean it multiple times throughout the project. But once I got the thinning right and the nozzle was clean, it went on pretty well. Um, so I think I'll have all coats on today for the entire project for the sh three shelves, the two side pieces, which means I can actually start constructing part of, part of the baby's dresser uh, sometime next week, along with completing the web frame, which will probably be the next video. So what we gotta do next time is we need to build finally the web frame for the shelf along with the dividers and then once those parts are made what we'll do is we'll assemble the entire dresser put it together uh, the top will be finished too that's another thing because since everything's gonna be pre-finished we're gonna put finish and stain on the top first put the whole thing together and then start making the drawers to fit within those parts and then the last part which is finding the canvas dressers for the project itself. So, I hope that everyone's having a great week, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a good one. Bye.